where were you yesterday? How's that work? Oh, really? Are you sure about that? Uh, actually, I, I was at a wedding. I don't see any weddings that happened yesterday. Cocktail party? Conflicting stories, but they all seemed plausible. After all, the man was wearing a gray suit, which is quite versatile. I'm Brian Sakawa, and you're watching He Spoke Style, where we give you all the tips, knowledge, and inspiration you need to dress well, have more confidence, and unlock your potential. Here we are with look number one, and actually, before we get into it, take a moment and let me know what you thought of that intro down below in the comments. Okay, so here we have a super classic, very conservative business look. Suit is HSS Michael Andrews in a VBC fabric. Two button, peak lapel, flat pockets, side adjusters, pleats, and a two inch cuff on the trousers. Underneath, very simple with an ice blue button up shirt, which I paired with a Brooks Brothers BB number no. three rip tie for that very classic business look. Continuing that theme with a white pocket square, date just on the wrist, and I threw in a pair of cap toe boots just because it is the fall season. Another business look here, though maybe a little less conservative and a bit more playful because of the patterns. We've got a striped shirt from our collection and medallion print tie, which is by Drake's. It's very simple pattern mixing and follows one of the rules, which is to combine two different types of patterns. And adding pattern to a suit like this is a really easy way to make it seem less formal, which I continued down below with the suede Oxfords by Scaroso. Get a lot of questions about how to dress for a wedding if you are attending one, and right here is one example of how you might do that. Remember, the wedding is about the people getting married, not about you, so keeping it very simple and unassuming is an approach that I would take. So here, just a simple white shirt with a black grenadine tie. A Little bit of texture in the tie adds some interest, but doesn't call attention to itself. I have on my wrist, my date just, and on my feet, a pair of black Oxfords. The whole look is just simple, classic, and classy. You knew it was coming, and here it is, suit with a turtleneck, one of my absolute favorite ways to change the entire character of a suit. I just think it gives it a really nice feel of relaxed sophistication. To me, it's a very kind of mature look, and I think it projects a lot of confidence. Another thing that plays into that confident feel here is the fact that this is a monochromatic look. It's a very simple approach, but one that has a lot of impact. No pocket square, just to keep it very clean and minimal. JLC Reverso is an elegant touch, and black tassel loafers to continue that relaxed feel. Another cocktail look here, but this one definitely with a bit of a retro feel. Uh, got the collar of the polo over the jacket collar and lapels. It's not a look that I do all the time, but one that I think is kind of fun to go to in certain situations. The bold black frame glasses by Persol add to that retroness of this look while still being kind of modern. Uh, gray suit, obviously very versatile, just like a navy suit. And I've done tons of navy suit outfit videos here on the channel in the past, and I've rounded those looks up, 25 of them to be exact, in that playlist right over there. So go ahead and click on that for lots more outfit inspiration. 